So here we are in a 2009 Chevrolet Corvette. Let me go ahead and start that up for you. Now, you can probably tell from the audio here that this car sounds great, but something kind of cool about this car is that it has an exhaust feature. You can click with your left foot. It's on the, the foot rest, the left of the clutch. This it is manual here. I don't know if you heard the, the click there, but what you can hear when you do that is it basically opens the exhaust valves and sounds even better than your typical Corvette, which already sounds really good. I mean, a 6.2 liter V8 makes a pretty enjoyable sound. Let's get on the road. Maybe you can hear the difference. Sounds pretty good. Got our normal sound, good growl. Click the button, even better growl, which is kind of cool. I mean, I drove this car home last night just to get a feel for it, and as soon as I pulled it in the neighborhood, clicked the button, and it made a very normal sound. It wasn't anything crazy, didn't aggravate the neighbors or anything. And then you can click the button as soon as you get out of the neighborhood and really enjoy your drive into work, which I certainly did. In this. Of course, we've got all of our sounds amazing. Got all of our comfort features here: cruise control, um, uh, climate control, a radio that doesn't sound as good as the car does, but it sounds pretty good. If you ever wanted to turn it on. And of course, this is a coupe which in my opinion looks better than a Corvette convertible, but it does have a removable top panel, so it's what I would think of as the best of both worlds. If you're on our website and if you're watching this video, you probably are. You should have been able to see pictures of the outside, which show that this is a beautiful car from the outside, but hopefully this gives you a good idea of how beautiful it is on the inside. And of course, you know, we put up plenty of pictures inside and out, but you really don't get a feel for it without seeing it. So your best bet is to actually come take a look at the car. A um, couple little things to know about a Corvette if you are planning on buying one and aren't too familiar with them. Um, with these cars, you have to park it in reverse when it's a manual. I mean, if it's an automatic, you just put it in park. But for a manual, you have to leave it in reverse when you park or else it basically leaves the car in accessory mode and kills the battery. So, if you don't want to have to go through the ordeal of starting the car with jumper cables every morning, get in the habit of leaving it in reverse. And when I say the ordeal of starting it, it's a little bit different than any other car. Because with most cars, if the battery dies, you put the key in the door, you unlock it, you open the door, and then you pop the hood, look up jumper cables. With this car, there's a little bit more to it. Um, this car has electronic door handles, so it's a button. Down here you've got a button, and then on the outside of the car, where it looks like the handles would be, you reach inside and push a button, and that pops the door open. When the battery is dead, the electronics don't work. So you can't open the door the normal way. What you have to do, and this took me a little while to figure it out the first time I had to do this on a different Corvette, what you have to do is use the key, pull it out of the fob, put it into the trunk on the underside, pop the trunk open, and on the left side of the trunk, about halfway, there's a little pull handle. You pull that handle, and that opens your driver's door. It'll pop open just a, a hair so you know it worked. And then once you have the driver's door open, you can pop the hood and start it up the normal way. Um, now, if you're inside the car and it dies, which has also happened to me, and I didn't know this at first, there are little door latches from the inside down at the bottom, sort of um, 
Well, if you scroll down and look right down here, you should be able to see it in the video. That is, you just pull that up and then it opens the door the normal way. If the car is dead and you get inside and close the door because you really didn't think it through like I didn't. And if you are looking for a Corvette for the first time, hopefully that saves you a little bit of trouble, but hopefully you don't just get in and close the door like I did. drive this car before this video so you never want to get the revs up too high when the car is still cold. You want to let it warm up before um, before giving it a lot of gas. I mean I'm obviously not doing anything crazy right now taking it to a track or anything but even still you want to be gentle with these cars because these cars have personality. I mean it's not like you're Hondas and Toyotas that you can just do anything to and they won't stop running. I mean, this will. It is a lot harder than most cars of its class, though. I mean, that's the beauty of this car. You get the fun and the feel of, you know, driving a Ferrari or something much more exotic, but you get the reliability and bendability of a Chevy, which is a pretty good thing to have when you consider. Ferrari has to go to the shop, you can go ahead and assume that it's going to cost more than most people get paid in a month or two. Um, you know, this car is much more reasonable to work on and much less likely to need to be worked on. As I say in all of these videos, hopefully it does help with your car search. Um, I'm sure it's not going to tell you everything though, so what I recommend giving us a call, 770-420-8787, or visiting our website, MariettaSportsCar.com, even though you're probably already on it, and uh, scheduling time to come in and take this thing for a drive, because as much as you can enjoy looking around the interior, hearing what it sounds like, you know, knowing that cars don't make weird ticking noises before you come to see them, it's, it's nice to have that peace of mind. Uh, it still is worth driving it for yourself. Um, we do sell a lot of cars out of state, so if you would like to see anything specific, get to know it before we ship it out to you, uh, give us a call and we can coordinate that as well. But thanks for watching and uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.